g'day, g'day, YouTube, Necrocarna6 Triple I here. I'm sort of being quiet because it's like half past two in the morning and my family is asleep right now. And the walls are paper thin. Anyway, I was just playing some Plague Inc. Evolved, trying to make myself tired so I can get some sleep. But I found this really cool life hack. And for those who want to unlock genes very quickly, this is what you need to do. Now, this is a save <coughs> of the Shadow Plague virus. As you can see here, I've killed nearly everybody in the world. It says 100%, but there's still like 2 million left in China. And I'll just load this game up. So here we are. Just open it. 2.2 million left. And I'm just going to speed this up a bit. Now it's a rate down to 1 million. 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 5. Now I'm actually going to make a save here. Go back, allow the scenario to win. Okay, Nox turns has corrupted humanity. Quick, quick <coughs> quickly quit out. And a new gene type has been unlocked, of course. We'll open up main game, Shadow Plague. I literally unlocked D's free in less than a minute and a half just by loading the save game from just seconds before the game ended. So I need to do this nine more times, but because it's saved literally seconds before it ended, it should work again. So there's only 0.3 million people left, or over 300,000 to be specific. Any second. Yep. Unholy Engineer is unlocked. Now I can place a sentry and a dispenser. Ha ha ha, TF2 joke. Literally all I did here was save at the right moment. Now I was playing this on um, casual and I did it a very long way. I started up in Greenland, built a lair, killed everybody there. Moved on to Iceland, killed everybody there. Then um, basically I like to play the long strategy with Shadow Plague. Uh, take out Greenland and Iceland to spawn the Templar. I'm just going to the menu each time to make sure the thing actually unlocked properly. Anyway, um. So you do Greenland and Iceland to unlock the Templar. Then. Uh, I target every country that has less than 10 million population, so Botswana, Libya, Norway, Sweden, Finland, uh, I think, yeah, New Guinea, and New Zealand. Sort of build up DNA points. New Zealand is actually um, a good priority target because not only is the Templar most likely going to spawn there, I found. But uh, they also have very good funding for medical research. So they're going to, so New Zealand is going to be a pain in your ass when it comes to holding off the cure. <coughs> now once I've amassed at least 400, maybe, or normally about 300, but sometimes 400, 450 points, I literally buy out as many, um, 
abilities as it can to unlock the Shadow Plague and increase infectivity. Uh, when I load the game next, I'll actually show. Yeah, sorry about the clicking of the mouse, I'm actually like laying down in bed and my mic my headset microphone is really close to the computer. Anyway, uh I'll clear up in the disease menu. I've literally bought every transmission, symptom and vampire ability there is. I did actually buy Vampiric Awakening beforehand, but for some reason I must have reset. So go one, two, three, four more times. I'm going to try this again with the zombies and the apes, but not on recording, just to see how this will actually work. But yes, it will actually work um, across all of the special diseases. I'll let you know in my next update. And I was planning on making a video at some point because I haven't released one in ages. But I'll get around to that actually. Should be the last one. All passengers, please proceed to gate four. Completely decked out in all fifteen unique vampire genes, unlocking thirteen in just a matter of several minutes. There's definitely some sort of bug in the game, or something. But, it's a very useful life hack if you're very lazy and you want to unlock stuff early on. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching this short little tutorial. My name is Necro Arcanus Extra Polite, signing off. Good night, and stay classy.